गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द लेसन माइग्रेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज कॉजेस ऑफ माइग्रेशन इन दिस टॉपिक we are going to focus on push factors of migration and pull factors of migration now why do people migrate before migrating people always compare the advantages and disadvantages of staying where they are and moving to a new place other factors which include are the distance that is how far the place is from their place of stay the terrain that is what kind of topography the region is having travel costs and time that is when they will be migrating how much time will they take from their country to the country where they are migrating what will be the cost of traveling to and fro and so on they also focus on the modes of transportation cultural barriers cultural barriers refers to what kind of religion or what kind of culture the other country is having all these influence their decision to migrate the causes of migration may be grouped into two main categories pull factors and push factors pull factors are those factors which attract the people towards their country while push factors force the people to move out of their country and go to some other countries or some other places where they will start their work or they will continue to live there and carry on with an occupation now let us first take up the push factors what causes people to move away from one place to another it is most of the time the difficulties which people face and that forces them to emigrate that is to move away from their place of stay or their country sometimes their continent and move to another place the major push factors are lack of food famine droughts which forces people to move to a place where there will be abundance of food and other resources sometimes people move to another country because they are not satisfied with the jobs which they are doing maybe the jobs are not of their taste or their capabilities they are capable to have a better job so that forces them to move to another country sometimes low wages that is the salaries which the people are getting are pretty low in spite of putting in a lot of efforts so that also forces pe people to move to other places where the same jobs are offering better salaries or a better pay packet other such push factors include lack of amenities such as good housing poor transport lack of power supply medical facilities and education here you can see this is a hospital which does not have proper medical facilities you can see over here how the houses are in such poor condition no sanitation no water supply whatsoever 
transportation over here you can see is so poor so many people have been made to climb on this truck which is actually meant for loading goods but people are being loaded and they are made to move from one place to another here you can see this little boy who should have been in school has to fetch water for himself and his family which is an indication that there are poor there are people as well as they are lacking in amenities and so that needs to be changed war can be a major cause of migration if you look around yourself you will find that there are many countries which are waging war against one another or people themselves in the countries are waging war against one another that is a civil war is going on in the country several countries like afghanistan sudan nigeria all these countries are faced with these kinds of wars wars can be very ravaging and it deprives people of peace tranquility any kind of amenities and that forces people to move from one place to another if a place is often affected by natural disasters and it does because natural disasters have in, have increased over the years mainly because of global warming forest fire frequent floods tornadoes cyclones all these are affecting the lives of the people and they are forced to migrate to places where they can have a better life where they will not be facing all these disasters frequently recurring famines that is shortage of food this is a picture which has been taken up from africa where we can see little children they are waiting for food to arrive by the united nations and other countries which help such nations during times of distress so droughts war all these lead to famines shortage of food and the little children and people are very badly affected because of such conditions in several countries we have found that if the political ideas of the people are not in tandem with that of the government the government can become very very aggressive towards them and that will lead these people to leave their countries and go for other places persecution if people are having a different belief then the government or the state is not considering their beliefs then that can also lead such people to either leave the state or migrate to other places where their beliefs and religion can be adopted or they can be uh, they can be secularism and they can have a better life here we can see how all these people that is most of them it is a picture which has been taken from mexico they all are leaving the country and they want to enter united states of america but because of certain restrictions they are not allowed to enter the country these are the following pull factors that is abundance of food abundance of resources prosperity which includes wealth and success all these are very attractive and immigrants want to go in those areas 
where all these are found in abundance people who are having lack of food in their countries they want to be in a place where there is abundance of food where they can have at least two square meals a day a country which is having resources will always provide a proper work for the migrants and all these will lead to the wealth and success of people who are migrating so these are the common major factors which attract the migrants towards these countries where we find all this wherever there will be better amenities like affordable housing here you can see all the houses are built of the same type and they have been built by the government and they are very simple houses but at least the amenities are there they have clean drinking water continuous supply of electricity and all these are very attractive to people who come as migrants here we can see education being provided to children and all this is also an attraction for people who want to educate their children so they migrate from places where education is not given properly to these areas where the children can get a proper education elsewhere freedom of expression is very much needed in many of the countries freedom of expression is not there people can't speak against the dark side of the government so people have to move away because if they speak against the government they are likely to be persecuted elsewhere political stability is also very very essential a strong government a strong army can protect the people and that helps the people to have a peaceful life so migrants will always try to move to a place where they can have freedom of expression free freedom of speech and a political stability so i hope students you must have understood what are the basic push factors and pull factors for migration so that is what we have enough time for today thank you